first rum distillery on this island was the seventh oldest in the entire Caribbean. The brand of this rum is called Ripper's Reason. We're using river water directly from the river to produce this rum. With all that water, guys, literally rum cannot be made. That river water begins to process powers the water to be conveyed to the grinders. That same river water ends the process and condenses on a gas into a liquid condensation. Hence the brand Ripper's. We got a 75% alcohol oil, white rums only, 150 proof. Due to the flammability and the 9-11 ban, God is not allowed on airlines. After 9-11, there was a worldwide ban issue, 70%, that's the maximum. What we did is considered aircraft friendly rum. We took 1% of the ban. So we got a 69%, 130 proof. Legally, we are allowed to take us on an airline. Are you guys joining the matter? Yes. We are. My name is Elon. For the next 15 to 20 minutes, I'm the guy. Now at any time you're free to take pictures of something catches you guys' attention, you ask me, I'm able to answer. 450 acres of property, Lake Antoine is probably half a mile away, it also belongs to us. Guys, I'm about to give to you a 1785 experience in 2018. There isn't any modernized equipment at this room still. Mm -hmm. Now it's 2018, why haven't we gone modernized? We're trying to maintain the history of the property, 232 years old. Second, there are 80 persons permanently employed. Now if we go modernize, we need to cut the staff. The present owner of this property is three local Grenadians. These guys are wishing to keep their fellow Grenadians like us, the outsiders, gainfully employed. Last but not least, they want when you come to us a total different experience. There are three things I guarantee at the end of this tour. I'm about to change your guys' perspective about how rum is being made. Someone in this tour besides me is about to say this job is difficult. It is at times. Last but not least, there is no way possible the adults on this tour drink breakfast rum and get a hang of it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I could profess to that. Yes, that's true. <laughs> now, most persons are confused when it comes to alcohol with morning sickness and hangover. Mm. Morning sickness means you have too much to drink last night or be intoxicated. This morning when you got up, you're dehydrated, exhausted. You feel like lying on holy. That's mm. normal. The hangover is a headache. You upset stomach, you're throwing up. Guys, there are three. If you heard there were three rum distilleries on this island, that's not true. There is River Antoine, that's ours. There is Klaus, that's in Woodland, and there is Westerhall. Westerhall makes no rum whatsoever. Mm. These guys import the rum, Guyana, trained at white rum, bring the white rum to the island, add the attribute of flavors, and sell the rum on that rum distillery brand. Oh. We're joking. proud to say there are two rum distilleries on this island, and River Antoine is the only organic rum distillery. That's one of the reasons that we, we cannot get the hangover. And second, we're using natural fermentation. Natural bacteria, oxygen, carbon dioxide, eight days natural fermentation, while our competitors use yeast and fertilizer that gives you a hangover. Mm. Ah. Nice one, nice one. Hey. You know, you, you know your thing. Guys, I love this job. I would love your job too. I would love your job too. Just talking more than you do. Guys, how is that possible? Headed this direction. G. Fletcher and Company, London and Derby, that's the manufacturers. That's the same guys back then, in 1840, and today that makes Rolls Royce. Are you smelling that? And the private jet. That means we got a Rolls Royce water wheel. That's why it lasts us 177 years. That river water leaves the Red River directly, goes along this drainage pipe, along this aqua duct. When it powers this water wheel, the cane gets going on the inside. If you guys check TripAdvisor water with Western Hemisphere, Grenada, River and we got it. That's the only Western Hemisphere, 177 years old. White rums only. Aged rum is not made at this rum distillery. 75%, a 69% across the board. 600 bottles of rum produced minimum every single day. Yet, for all, we don't make enough rum to supply Grenada. So it's either there's a drinking problem on this island, <laughs> or everyone loves this rum. There is no drinking problem. Everyone loves this rum. <laughs> guys, there was a recent survey done. <laughs> alcoholic when you say it's an alcoholic, is it? <laughs> Have you guys heard that? No. Grenada was rated worldwide for the most alcohol consumption. Yes, yeah. but that's not true. By who? Guys? Yeah. A worldwide survey. Yes. The survey was done. To my prediction, it was done wrong. The survey was done. Three rum distilleries. Well, two rum distilleries and West all. The amount of rum that we guys produce. The amount of rum that the brewers at Grenada breweries and the amount of alcohol imported against the population. Yes. That's, that's totally wrong. There are miners on this island. There are senior citizens on this island. There is a, this is a Christian society. There are yeah. persons that don't drink. If you get all of you guys here and not on this island, you guys put a case of rum and you're going back home with it. It's been tallied that the Grenadian population drank that. That's not true. Uh. Everywhere you go, young kids are drinking alcohol on this island, like the adults. But when it comes to a drinking population, that's not true. I need to play that. Everyone is asking <laughs> yeah, when yeah, I said yeah. this.
the most people say Grenada got a drinking problem. That's not true. Mm -hmm. Persons are consuming alcohol. The percentage from last year to this year has rise. But when it comes to a drinking problem, that's not true, guys. Shall we? Mm -hmm. See, Beverly, where's she gone? You took a personal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you took a personal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot have a person who really believe in Grenada got a drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is not me. I don't have a description. Yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's a viaduct. Viaduct. How do you call this? That bring the water down. The mill. No, that's the mill. But this, 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 this. No. Three local Grenadians came together and purchased the property. The name of the estate, River Antoine Estate. The brand of the rum is called River, since they're using the river water to produce the rum. The legal heading under this company, RDF Enterprises. That means Ray, Dice, and Frank. So the three guys that came together is presently owned by the same guys then, the same guys today. I don't think they're going to say, we're going to keep this local. We allow this water along the upper dock and it powers the water wheel. In return, this container belt moves in an upper direction. Every aspect of this sugar cane is being utilized here. That excess which you guys saw on the way in is locally known as bagas. The right word is la bagasse, it's a French word, it means waste. It's been utilized for two main purposes at this one distillery. One, boiling that same cane we saw on the degree, that's where we headed to the boiling of the second stage. Second, we allow this to run from a year, a year and a half to years maximum. That excess can be used as a blood like a fertilizer. So literally, every aspect of sugar cane, river water, is being utilized. There is four stages to this rum making process. Grinding out, boiling out, fermentation, distillation. Approximately two weeks maximum from sugar cane now to the sample monetary Is that a batch of rum? Why don't know? Any questions? No? Dolly, watch this then guys. Edit this direction. Come on in. Come on in, from the river one mile. Normally, there's a gentleman standing there, there's one here and there's one here. His responsibility is to guide that cane along to a boiler overpower. These are three-ton press. We use these press to extract the juice. The press extracted cane juice falls exactly beneath the press, flows along the drainage pipe, it's been filtered and it goes onto the boiling house. Get set from the cane, it's still outside to try, that's what's happening behind you. When this is dried properly, one, one of the same cage is brought on the liquid that's what we get to the boiling house. Second, we allow this to work for the three years maximum, back into our field, more fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Literally, every aspect of this sugar cane, likewise that river water, is being utilized here. And we go along the guide to and go next to the lake. The say, the only wrong organic wrong is still on this island. This is 177 years old. If the guys are here, the only thing that you would get is my conversation and then this is something to find. 177 years old. Yes. In the Caribbean? No. Organic from? Yes. Real and What about what about um where, fresh when fresh when did this? What about Guadeloupe? They don't do a good one? I'm not sure. The reason why most first rum distilleries in 2018 are not going, they're not going to go, they're going to modernize because of, we're making quality rum here. The other guys are making quantity. That's why we're limited to making certain amounts of rum. We could export the rum, but we don't make enough rum to supply the local demand. Literally, there's one main reason why persons drink rum. You have any rum with a male, with a female, the hangover. That's actually true. There is no way possible to our rum and get a hangover. Now, we could... There is a rum... Um, that's rum in Barbados. Bacardi. 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 Bacardi is he Cuban? He's a Cuban, Cuban, Bacardi. Bacardi actually is made in Barbados. Okay. The guys say, okay, they're from the distillery, and when they get to the fermentation, they're using yeast and fertilizer. That's an organic. Yeah, they're yeah. That's why it's organic rum. But if, if um, Rain Nevue is <laughs> organic, and how come they could produce so much to the fact that the, the international market has it? The reason why we are limited when it comes to the amount of gallons 
If we need to be modernized, we need to extend that fermentation room. That means we need to break that structure that has been here for 230 years. It's not going to happen. Right, listed, listed building. Right. So then that's the main reason. Randevue has modernized their system. They're, using, they're producing organic rice rum, or the rum distillery is modernized. Mm -hmm. The quality of the process is modernized, and when it comes to the quality of the process, organic rum. Right, I'm just trying to put down Randevue. <laughs> sugar cane, sugar cane. Rum smells strong. The freshly extracted cane is on the inside. It's been heated to 100 degrees Celsius to remove the excess water and to improve the sugar content. More concentrated and sweeter, that juice is on the inside. Easier to sell us to get 75% white rum. We just left the grinding house. This is the boiling house. The second stage of this rum making process. Mm -hmm. I did on manga. Same process for 200 years, almost. Some old time building, you know what I'm saying? What the G. This room is known as the boiling house. Are you in? The fresh extracted cane goes close along this plastic pipe. It's been filtered in front of you. It's placed with this copper right here. While using these wooden ladles, this bridge right here, at that end, and it's then manually scoop from this copper to that one until it goes to here. Reason We need the five coppers. There's a furnace which you get just on outside. But we are unable to heat each one of them exactly to 100 degrees. This is warm as it goes along the temperature increases. When the juice moves from this copper to my immediate price, all the water has been dissolved. The sugar level is twice there when it starts more concentrating. Now this wooden drainage pipe is normally angled from this copper to this holding tank. It then scoops through along the drainage pipe goes to the concrete cylinder. We allow the juice to cool for a couple of hours. It's then pumped up stays eight days, natural fermentation begins. So basically what's happening here, we fill the juice, we move the water, improve the sugar, get more concentrated, obsessed fermentation. Any questions? Hello? I said a while ago, the adults on this school, there is no way possible drinking our rum and in a hangover. I'm about to tell you guys why. You get into that? Go ahead. What a step on your way. Excited here. Cross, if you know what's up, please. This is a third stage. Because of this room, we guarantee the handle by the top five minutes. There are nine coffee cylinders. Each one holds a maximum twenty-four hundred gallons of that juice we just allowed to cool. Hence the reason. The pump cylinders are not being cleaned regularly, it's not being washed on a regular basis. We allow the natural bacteria from the juice before to accumulate. So the natural bacteria, oxygen during the day, the bacteria, carbon dioxide during the night, eight days, natural fermentation. Hence the reason, guys, there is any lid on top of these tanks. Normally, shake a beer, shake a soda, there's cheese on top. What you guys are hoping to see, there's cheese on top, that's not ready. After eight days of the this one completely dark is ready to be distilled. The alcohol level rises. That's basically what fermentation means, raising the alcohol content. 31 to 45 percent, the average of a red wine. After eight days, that fermented juice, that's a horrible taste. If you have the sugar and the alcohol, if you drink too much, the hours you handle get a hangover, that's not true. Our competitors add yeast and food that speed the process up. The chemical, while we use the eight days naturally, our competitors will be 48 hours, 20 hours, they could produce white rum. That's why they got white rum, we got white rum. Both our rum against our competitors. Our white rum is going to be dark red color against this natural fermentation. White rum only are caused to vote. Age drop is not maintained at this from the city. White rum is age drop. You put the white rum, you must make white rum first. You put the white rum, the wooden back. After five years minimum, it puts a color, that's why it's rum. It was a flavor. This is the type of food that we use to produce the rum. And then it's not cheap, the value goes to the sky. I'm going to teach you guys a Grenadian drinking trick. <laughs> On this island, persons drink white rum with tap water. That's the cheaper way to go. First, it's all about to get water for free. It's tap water. Chlorine and fluoride cannot be mixed with alcohol. In Grenada, there's chlorine. Guys, I'm a Venezuelan. When I came here, I'm seeing guys drinking my cup. To me, my cousin would have put a whole lot of orange juice. The chemistry, it actually works. You take a shot of rum, you shoot it back, and use a tap water as chlorine up through as a chaser. The chlorine in the tap water absorbs 10, 20, up to 40% alcohol. You can start in that particular drink. That means you get a longer drinking span. 
when the, when the summer was done, when it comes to the drinking problem, the persons noticed that you see random young guys drinking 75% alcohol, only 4 or 5 of them randomly, and yet for they're not intoxicated, they're driving home. How is that possible? Chlorine and fluoride absorbs alcohol. Now, if you look age drum, any age drum is brown, pour it in a glass, add your tap of that chlorine or fluoride. Within 5 to 7 seconds, if the brown substance sinks, that's caramel. What floats? The alcohol, the caramel, the guys, they need that one has not been aged. And then after five to seven seconds remains wrong, you can call it wrong. Mm -hmm. Up the stairs, right across, and you turn the other head. <laughs> Hang on to the cameras and the cell phone ring tight. If it falls here, that's gone. It's, what, uh, uh, it's waterproof. <laughs> Are you going to get it back? <laughs> waterproof. You should get it up. So that's the rum, yeah? Oh no, adult juice. Bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is ethanol and there is methanol when you distill the yeah. alcohol. Guys, alcohol is vapor. So you're not, the cage when you draw up, that's what you drink. You're drinking the vapor from that fermented juice. When the vapor starts to emerge, the Ooh. first batch for the five, four, five, six, seven seconds, that's ethanol. You can use ethanol, actually make ethanol to make gasoline. Yeah. The moonshine is not doing that. They are lowering the ethanol, methanol, and convert it back into a gas, into a liquid. If you drink moonshine bar, which is probably three, three years in a row, one, four weeks to a week, you're going blind. You go blind. Momentarily, you're going to get short sighted, eventually, you're going to get blind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Methanol, ethanol takes your damage, your pupil off your eyes. So, if you had bar, which is moonshine before, don't bother trying to get You never had, don't take it. You can put moonshine in your car as well. It will start up the car. Yes. The, Trust. The, the you, will do, you will do a few miles with it. Exactly. I you know. know why it's called moonshine? It's been transported at night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not making moonshine, you're my friends, not allowed to come. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave model society, I go to the hills once a month with a natural moon result. I'm going to manually carry you out with the guys. Reason? Mm -hmm. I don't pay taxes. Of course, they want to rob my alcohol and the police. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rum fermented juice which you just saw goes into this tank. It's called a heat exchanger. Holding 600 gallons, that's when it's filled. We only distill 300 at a time. 300 gallons flows along, 300 remains. Goes on into the boiler or the kettle to be heated to 100 degrees. As I said momentarily, a while ago, alcohol is vapor. The vapor rises along the boost deck, double filter, these are gas filters, moonshine, Louis Vuitton top, Bourbon country. The vapor goes back inside of the tank. Hence the reason, on the inside there's a coil. The vapor goes along in a circular motion. Since that vapor is extremely hot, what it does, the 300 gallons pull the temperature becomes warm. When it goes on in, it's pretty warm, so it saves us time and energy. Heat exchanger. There is a pulsar mulch here on alternated sides. This water is coming directly from the river, it's rather cold. This is probably 13 to 15 feet deep. As the vapor goes along this coil, along this pipe, and touches the water instantly and moves along, gas into a liquid condensation, hence the brand rivers. That river water begins to process power to water wheel, and the same water ends the process gas into a liquid. So from this case, the mulch on alternated sides is clear, drinkable alcohol. It's then pumped downstairs to be tested. Guys, we're proud to say it's not been tested manually. If that was a job <laughs> here, yeah. everyone had one that job. That would have been a win-win situation. You would have get paid to drink and don't get a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're walking to the wa vault. That's the vault. <laughs> River. <laughs> there's a high possibility to smash you those up. Mm. There's gallons of rum beneath you. Mm. The quality, that's why I say it's probably 13 to 15 feet deep. You're actually upstairs. So as the quality moves along in the cold water, it gradually comes into alcohol. Then we allow these glass cylinders to overflow with the pure alcohol. The white instruments on the inside are called hydrometers. 
If these hydrometer sinks and remains, that means the alcohol level is at 75%. Now, if they float, we then send the alcohol back to be distilled for water to come back to us at 75%. Reason, we only take 75 across the board and dilute it from 75 to 69 on our own using mineral water, spring water. The tap water in Grenada cannot be used chlorine. We put that chlorinated water into that 75%, drops the alcohol content too fast to quick. That's why I said that Grenada drinking trick, it actually works. This board basically explains what percentage of alcohol came in at the first run. I'm going to use at 99%. We sent back the alcohol that came in at 79. We sent it back. Right here, notice there's a blank. That means it came back directly at, seven, at, at 79%. We sent it back again, it came back 75. The amount of gallons being produced, the workers' initials, that's basically what this board explains. This board also tells management who's working, who isn't. <laughs> management comes here, the fireman and the distiller. When he notes